Hello guys and welcome back. This is Peter Dahlgren building Mirrors Models F86. Guess what happened? She is off the jig. And she's sitting here and boy we got a mess in the shop to clean up and then we're going to revamp and actually get it. But I wanted to show you guys the weight on this thing. This right now almost with all the sheeting and everything done the weight on the tail section is only one and a half pounds it's feather light that is four and a half pounds right now built and that's including the fillers and everything that's going on in there that puts the total of the airframe the main airframe on here as being right at about it's real close to six pounds with everything we've done so far adding the sliding canopy everything else I'm actually very excited about the weight the main thing here is is coming out and it's just awesome but anyway guys that's it for now if you guys are considering this airplane now that she's in half it's much more manageable i'm getting ready to go ahead and tree up the bottom we're going to start the rest of the sheeting process we got quite a bit of sheets in here ready to go get this tail done we're going to start getting in here start working some areas around in there getting the thing ready for the gear doors and everything else we got a lot of cutting a lot of little things going on here now that we've done all of this and we got this big beautiful nose that i just i just absolutely love this but anyway now we got this nose we can come back in here and we can start sheeting these areas and start building in some details start adding some framing for gear doors and little things this is where this build starts to get fun and all i gotta do right now is actually go through and true all this up so when we get into this this airplane is a monster this is going to make it easier to get in and fix all these areas that have not been sanded yet getting all this crap in here just kind of really neatened up this is going to make it easier to go in and true things up and get them get them looking really good so we're going to be doing more planking but we're also going to be able to work on this basically in a lot smaller scale and get it you know like i told you guys you want to make sure you're keeping everything pretty much as even as you possibly can when you're setting this up because if you don't it's just gonna the snowballing effect is going to get you this is actually a really good opportunity to show you these joints that are I'll show you in the other one before it gets closed up you're gonna see where I've done a little bit of patching a little bit of stuff just to get a little strength but you're also gonna see those big beautiful beads which in turn we're gonna go back why it's upside down we're gonna go back and back glue anything we couldn't reach in there and this is a really good time to do that so we are going to be able to flip this on its back. We're going to be able to come in. We're going to be able to put a little bit more glue in areas where we needed to be and make sure that this thing is built like a tank. And this is the way it should look, guys. That's what your glue joint should look like. And then once this is all treed up, this stuff will all fall into place and be just amazing. I did my joints like this. I did all this, and these are just very easily trimmed off. This is the way they should be. Just snap it off, take it off the jig, and it should be good to go. But anyway, once you're done, and if you follow the directions where I've done, separating it the first time, be very, very, very gentle with it. Because if you don't, she's going to get crazy on you. So, be uh, just be very advised on all of that as you do it, that... It takes a lot of finessing time to get it their plane separated for the first time. It's really no work. If you followed all the steps that I've done, you're going to have a gorgeous uh, separation. And it's going to take very little cleanup to make it right. And you're going to see where it all bolts up and everything else kind of falls into place. And as you can see, now that I've done this, I can access all of my points in here to the hinges and get the motors and all that stuff put in i will be putting a couple access doors to get those to it and that's always been part of my evil plan so anyway thanks for watching 
we'll see in the funny papers and again we have uh, we have a basement you can walk through again and this is why this is another testimonial of why I like these big airplanes and having all these parts guys this will fit just about in the back of any SUV yeah, or in the back seat of any car it will fit in there when you go that with my uh, three-piece drum set sitting back you can see how big it really actually is but if I can put that damn thing in a car then the rest of this is a no-brainer thank you for watching guys we'll see you in the funny papers